We in here, Al. We in your room. There's your mother. All laid up. Anything mm -hmm. you want to say now? Please be uh be gentle. <laughs> be gentle, Al. Look what time it is. What time it is. I started my day at 6.45 and we just now almost midnight getting in the room, getting checked in. Yeah. And look at your little heart rate. Let me zoom in over there. That's you over there beating 149, 144, stuff like that. These are your quarters, Dale. This is where you're going to be born at. Right here at Duke. It's not the Hilton. Your daddy's going to be sleeping right there. And your mommy is ready to go. Mm -hmm. You ready to go, champ? I'm ready. Look at what they've done to her. Took all that blood from her. <laughs> L, make it worth it. Be a good baby. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, L. It's day number two. July the 8th. You ain't showed up. Take a look at your mama and everything she done been through. Tell L what you done had to go through. Look at what you got down here. Just cramps. <laughs> so you've seen the midwife. You've seen the nurse, mm -hmm. you've seen an anesthesiologist. Mm -hmm. And a medical student. And a medical student. And who came in with the nurse midwife? That's a midwife student. The midwife and the uh, medical student together. Medical student, too. Yeah. And so you've had, they put that, what was that, the bulb in there to try to... To try to dilate my cervix. Right. That worked. So I'm dilated to, they're thinking about at least two or three, mm -hmm. maybe four. They'll check me again a little bit later. Um, because they think it's going to take about another 24 hours, they're allowing me to eat. And my sweetie went and bought me some food. So I have eggs, hash browns, and sausage. And he remembered to get me ketchup. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so the issue is we got here on the 7th. At 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. We basically got checked into the room around 11.30ish. 11 yeah. They came and did those procedures on you. You're having very, very minor uh, contractions. And they put the bulb in there to try to get the cervix to open up. Yeah. And they pulled it out. And so now, Ill, because this is your mama's first child, we still wait. They saying we, you might not come till the night, which is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So this is day number two. I'm probably not gonna do the whole day's worth of footage, but I'll shoot every now and then. They brought your mama a rocking chair. Mm -hmm. Now, normally they would let us get up out of this room, but because it's COVID restrictions, we confined to the great Hilton Suites known as Duke University. I am Lamont. This is all we get to see. So, we'll hit you back in a little bit, L. But this is what you had to go through to get birth <laughs> into this planet. L log day number two. It is about 3 p.m. July the 8th. L, you still not here, but they gave your mama some exercises to do. Take a look at what your mama doing. She doing, she's doing a great job. Your mama here bouncing on the ball. That said, that's supposed to soothe you and gravity is gonna help you come down. All while she's listening to some massage running waterfall music. Then if you look outside, it's raining cats and dogs. So how much longer is it going to be before it will come out, Crystal? I say within the next 24 hours. So okay. it's... So between so by, now and 3 o'clock tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Expect to see you 3 o'clock tomorrow. This is your first test of obedience. We know you're going to be a very obedient and disciplined young lady so we want you here within the next 24 hours so i'm trying to shake you down your mama ain't gregory oh, good. you'll figure out who he is later on your daddy had me doing squats <laughs> and and i got dizzy l they said do some squats rock on that ball and they told her to sit in the rocking chair and rock too
So we're doing whatever we can to get you up out of there in a timely manner and get you home, girl. We're going to get you home. <sighs> okay, L. the second day. The day is almost over. You're still not here. You know you can find all of those things that you No, it ain't been 24 hours, but... Second night. How you feeling? Tell L. what you done gone through over this last day. This is day number two. I think I'm doing pretty well. I had a rough first night with, you know, some painful cramps, but not horrible, horrible. Throughout the day, I was feeling pretty decent. Thought I was getting over and getting away with something because I wasn't uh, hurting as bad as I thought I should. Um, I dilated the three centimeters, and they're giving me some Pitocin to um, increase my contractions to help me dilate more. You're going to yeah. tell her about your squats and your balls and yeah. then her putting her feet in your oh, ribs. Goodness. So I exercised. They told me to get out of the bed um, and try to shake you down a little bit into my pelvis. So I did some squats. And your daddy had me doing deep squats and holding it at the bottom. And I started seeing spots. <laughs> my uh, The room started spinning. I was about to pass out because he just pushed me so hard. But uh, after that, he told me to just take it easy and I just did ball exercises and rocked in the rocking chair. Yep. And that noise you hear in L, that's your little heartbeat. See? That's you right there, 150. So they're saying when she's gonna ride like eight more hours or so. It's eight thirty now, so they're saying maybe tomorrow around ten AM. I was thinking tomorrow night, but Oh, tomorrow night? Yeah. We don't have an exact time, but you know, I'll be happy if you hear about tomorrow evening. Okay. Yeah. Well, L, that's where you're at right now. You're not gonna be here on the second day. Hopefully you'll be here on the third day. We'll mm -hmm. start the footage tomorrow. And we out. Okay, L. It is 2.15 in the morning, July the 9th. They just broke your mama's water. See the clock? Focus in on it. Walk up to it. There's your time. Here's your mom. She's probably not going to feel like talking now because this is the most pain she's felt so far. But we're moving right along. Your little heartbeat. Still doing fine. Hopefully, you're still going to behave. Mom don't feel like talking right now. So we'll check back in in a little bit. She's here. It's baby L. She got here about 7.45 a.m. Let me get this clock again. It's like almost an hour later. Mom, what do you have to say? Because you did good. You did oh, really goodness. good. Yeah. I'm blessed, I can say that. The smooth delivery. Um, don't seem like there's going to be a rough recovery. So we had a smooth delivery. And it doesn't seem like I'll have a rough recovery. That should go smoothly as well. She came right on out. Mm -hmm. They put her on my chest. And then she started giving hunger signs. Rooting to the side, putting her hand in her mouth. And so went ahead and put her on the breast. And she... Go on to town. Right. Right. Let's y'all see y'all little baby. There she is. And for men that might see this video, if you want to really take care of your wife, turn on the massage music and get the good pregnancy aromatherapy candles. And we'll see how you go the rest of the day. I didn't cry. I thought I would, but I didn't because I'm, I'm a man's man. Y'all, don't listen to Crystal. No, I cried in my dreams. I'm so happy this little girl is here. Things are just going to change for the better now. We're going to do all we can to be good parents. And um, this is day one. Elle was born July the 9th, 2020 at 7.35 a.m. Maybe not. She scored 41 without it. Yeah.